going on everybody it's been uh been a while again since I've been last here just a few quick updates you might notice that the videos are going to be in better quality you might already notice I'm clear if this works out the right way um, got a new laptop new setup here uh, same boring bland black back background but I should be in HD now if this records correctly if at the end it becomes shitty again and I have a headset back on, then we know something hasn't gone right. So, now you can see what I look like. That's all. Um, I've been gone for about a month now. I got married. Uh, all that kind of fun stuff in between. Has the ring. Um, got married about two weeks ago now. Uh, had my bachelor party, which I went out of town for that for a couple of days. So that's another reason why I was gone. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All the fun stuff. No honeymoon yet, though. If I was on a honeymoon, I wouldn't be here right now. We're actually waiting on that for the cooler weather to roll into Illinois, and we're going to get the hell out of Illinois when it gets colder and take a little break. But anyways, that's that. Um, got a lot of stuff to review. I'm going to start knocking this stuff out. I'm doing two today, maybe three today. We'll see how I feel. Um, today, we're going to be looking at... This guy that's been out for quite a little bit now, not too long. It's a mechanical mod. I haven't done a mechanical review in a long time. I've sort of jumped back on the mechanical bandwagon just for the time being. I might jump back off. Who knows? Um, we're looking at the Smoke Magneto. Magneto. So that's what I'm going to call it, the Magneto. I'm even going to throw the X in, the Magneto. <laughs> um, where did I get this little bad boy? Take my dripping Addy off here. Um, I got this guy at SunnyVaping.com. Uh, Vapor Joe's had a coupon on his uh, site. If you don't know Vapor Joe's, check out VaporJoe's.com for coupons. He's always got the best deals out there in the vaping world. Um, it was forty two ninety five, and he had like I think three dollar, four dollar off coupon or something like that coupon code, and it came out to it came out to forty bucks shipped with shipping, so it's not a bad deal for what you're gonna get out of this guy. This is by far the best hitting mechanical I own. Um, I owned a hundred and twenty dollar Gus, which I've done a review uh, for before. I might link to that in the bottom here. Um, that was $120 and it hit like crap. And I said it in the review. It was just crummy, crummy vaping experience. Um, and I'll never spend $120 or more on a mechanical device, period, because they shouldn't be priced at that price. And they may hate me for it, but that's the way I feel. I will not spend high-end money on a tube that holds a battery that has a firing button. I don't see the point. Unless it's made out of straight-up 24 karat gold, I'm not spending the money. So this is definitely a very well-made, well-crafted, $40 mod. Um, some people call it a Nemesis clone. It's got the same Nemesis locking ring and whatnot. The I believe the Nemesis has the magnetic firing button also in it. So it's similar to Nemesis, but not similar because it has its own little features to it. So I wouldn't call this a clone, but a very well-made mechanical out of China. And uh, give me a second here, we're going to change the camera angles and we're going to break this down and uh, see what it's all about. So, the uh, Smoke Tech Magneto. This is it in 18650 mode. I've already taken the battery out, we'll take the top cap off. You'll hear how smooth the threads are. There's a little bit... I don't think that's it's not, not very it's just got a little squeak to them, but they're smooth. Top cap, then you got your center tube, which comes completely out. And that's a center tube. And then the button. Just smooth, smooth, smooth. Tube. Tube. Top cap. Bottom button. 
those are all the parts that it has. Um, completely broken down, actually, because nothing else breaks down any farther. The center pin does not break out. Um, this is the button here. It's a magnetic magnetic button. See, it's got that copper or um, brass, I should say, ring there for good conductivity. And that center part is just a magnet. You see how it just pops in. On the bottom here, you have a, what is like a spider? There you go. This camera's actually picking things up. Woohoo! And you may have noticed I've already lost HD. Um, the choppiness has made me go to optimized 720 HD, so we'll see how that looks at the end. But, anyways, <laughs> it's a little spider there. Spider Man, I'm not sure. Very nice design. I like the design of this. And then along here, you got the little pips. And you got your locking ring, which is reverse threaded, and I seem to still turn it the wrong way always so I'm used to you know proper threading goes the right way but this is smart feature reverse threading won't fire you turn it the other way you turn it to the left to lock to unlock it and obviously there's just push it it's magnetic the magnet's gotta be there to push it away I'll show you here okay if you got now you got the bot the, the bottom tube here which has that um copper, sorry, brass ring there, and it's got a magnet right in the center, and once you put these two together, see that button pop out, pop back in, so it's opposing forces, keeping the button out, magnetic forces, that's just a nice button, very nice, um, but yeah, that's how the button works, it's all magnetics, so two magnets opposing and And there you can see it pop out. There we go. That's how the button works. Very nice. No spring. Nothing to worry about. And also on the bottom cap here. Let's see if we can pick this up. Wrong way. Well, on the bottom button, it does say Magneto 1939. It's not coming up with my camera still, but it does say Magneto 1939. I don't know what that stands for, but whatever. Whatever they like. And in the bottom tube also here. It says smoke. It's uh, etched in there. You fill it once you rub your finger over it. And the tube, all the tubes here are like uh, stainless steel. They're all it's all made of stainless steel, but um, they're stainless steel and they got that brushed finish, which I just love. No fingerprints show up on it and whatnot. That's the bottom section there, and then you got the middle tube, which will be the lightest tube out of all the tubes. It's very not very, it's pretty thin. Um, not thin enough to where I can crush it like the KTS uh, mechanical mod I did. Threading on both sides, doesn't matter which way it goes in, fits either way. And then we have the top cap, which has a nice little design on it as well. It's got this top cap design here, which I agree with Todd in his review. This reminds me of Tron. These little, this little design pattern here. It's got air paths cut in, four air paths, and all these little grooves cut in here. I just find that real nice. I love that look. On this side you got the swirl effect of lining here. You can see it. And on the inside we got a brass contact also right here. Um, this pin is not adjustable. To, in order to remove this you have to pretty much just destroy the inside of this cap. I haven't had any problems with things firing or not touching. Some people might, but most rebuildables that you're going to use on here have adjustable 510 connections, so not going to be an issue. And you can see it's brass also in there. And, uh, yeah, it's all stainless steel. It's all very sturdy stuff. Let me, uh, I'm going to go up top now and, uh, vape on it and just talk about it a little more. <sighs> Alright, so you got a close look at what the Magneto looks like broken down. I guess I should have showed on the inside here. I just know, I forgot to show the thread in here. And it's got that brass post down at the bottom where your battery sits on. So you can see it's brass from the button all the way to the top cap. So you're not going to be lacking contact or 
getting tons of voltage drop. I'm not going to do a voltage drop test. I don't have anything to basically show you. But I have tested it with a multimeter. And about a 1 ohm, 0.9 ohm coil, I'm getting very minimal voltage drop. Probably 0.2, I believe it was. 0.21, 0.23, somewhere around there. Voltage drop on about a 1 ohm load. And that's not bad. So battery fires for 1. I'm getting about 3.8 actually out of it. Which is outstandingly good. Outstanding. But anyway, let's put this guy together here. Start with the button. Let's see, the button just, it's kind of hard sometimes to get it right because the magnet wants to push it away. Just screw that right in. Nice smooth threading. Nice. Keep it locked for now. Uh, center post, center column, I should say. Let's go right in. And, uh, choice battery today is going to be the Panasonic CGR 1850CH. These are hot batteries right now. I got two for 15 bucks off eBay. Um, very good for mechanical mods or flat tops. Uh, they have a 10 amp max output. So safety always, safety always. So those work great. And we'll take our top cap here and just put that guy right on there. But you know what, first I always like to do is put my Eddie on my top cap first. And it's not spring loaded 510 connection or anything. It's just a standard 510 connection. It just works good though, so I'm not going to complain. I'm give it a little tightening, snug it up. Top cap Alright. And there we go. That's it in 18650 mode. I personally like how it looks in 18350 mode, but with the low ohm loads you put on it, 18350 batteries are only going to be safe for a certain amount of ohms. Um, you could risk venting and stuff like that if you use smaller batteries. So I always use the big batteries just to be safe. I don't want anything to happen. <laughs> and there goes my cell phone, our first interruption of the day. Sorry. Okay. So 18650 mode, um, you know what, let me show you what the heck, what it looks like in 18350 mode before I start vaping on this guy. See how smooth that is, just goes right in. That's 18350, it is a dinky little fellow. Dinky little fellow, look at that guy. I love it, but I just can't use it because... Unless I guess I put a kick in there, which I haven't tried a kick, so I can't tell you if it works. Um, my feeling is it's going to work with a kick in 18, 350 mode and 18, 350 mode only, just because the difference in the column and the kick might not sit in there right. So, But you could try it off yourself. I'm not saying it's not going to work, but I have a feeling it won't. And I don't have a kick too. And a kick, the original kick just doesn't go high enough for these loads, if you ask me. All right, got that on there. My I go L, which is the next review. Um, unlock it here and uh, let's take tape. Oh, it's a point oh ohm coil, point oh ohm, point oh eight ohm coil, um, using cotton. Uh, 28 gauge canthal, and I'm using some Moon Mountain Vapor. Um, peach, not peach, pear. That's performing great. Um, Give me a second here, I'm going to wrap this up pretty much, because that's pretty much all there is to do with the mechanical mod. Give me one moment. Just producing vapor like it should at a .08 ohm coil. Um, 50-50 juice in here, it's nothing special. 18 milligram, which is starting to get to me now, but... <laughs> Rock pipe. Just working great. I have no cons about this. I guess an adjustable 510 pin would be nice, but doesn't bother me whatsoever.
good price point, made of stainless steel, um, fires anything you put on there with minimal voltage drop. Anybody looking for a, a nicely built, good quality, it's got the reverse threaded locking button so you have no issues when screwing the bottom on accident. Lock properly. Even when you don't lock it and sit it down, it will not fire. I mean, it's on my hand, so it's not going to stay, but you have to really push it and listen to it. Fires every time. No misfires. Just works great. Just works great. Sunnyvaping.com is where you can get it. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to do another one right after this. And uh, hope to keep shooting them out for you guys as long as there's still interest. I have a lot of things to look at. Moon Mountain Vapor. Um, other rebuildables. There's another mechanical mod um, that I have coming from Fast Tech. Clones. Love the clones. Tech of the clones. I don't care. Um, I'm actually probably going to do a tutorial too on how to build a rebuildable. See how that works with this camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys found everything you needed. If not, check out some other videos. Hopefully it will address some of your needs and what you're looking for. If you ever have any questions, just PM me. I'm here all the time. Try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. And uh, thank you for all subscribing. And if you'd like, press the subscribe button below. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Keep on vaping.